Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Club by Chetan S. Nuri and today we're gonna install the Infinity Note Fan Edition ROM on the Galaxy S6 Edge. This ROM is basically for the Note 5 but we are going to convert it for the S6 Edge and it is really simple and the ROM must be good because it is a Note Fan Edition's ROM so you get something new I think and it looks a lot like the s 8 rom but we're gonna see what it is and before we get started i would just like to say if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and once again don't forget to subscribe and help reach our goal of 1000 subscriber really soon so let's get into it now and first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off our device and you're gonna need four files for it first of all the rom then the porter then you need the kernel and then you need the magis installer so link to all those files will be down in the description and now we're gonna go into the custom recovery and to do that we're just gonna press volume up key home key and power key at the same time and now we're gonna let go of the power key And now we're gonna go in wipe and we're gonna go in advanced wipe and we're gonna select the Delvic ARD cache system data and cache. And if you wanna wipe your internal storage, go ahead and select the internal storage, but I wouldn't recommend it because you will lose all of your data. And we're gonna swipe to wipe now. And we're gonna go back, back, and back, and we're gonna go in install. And we're gonna select the Infinity Note Fan Edition and we're gonna swipe to confirm flash. So the ROM does come with the Aroma installer and it is booting into the Aroma installer now. So when the ROM comes with the Aroma installer it gives us many customizations. So we're gonna select next. We're gonna agree to this next. And yes I wanna do a full wipe and data factory reset. So you can select your own CSE over here. So I'm gonna select the Indian. And that sometimes help with the VoLTE problem. So it might work for me. The Geo VoLTE might work for me. So I'm just gonna find if there's an Indian one and is it me or I cannot find the Indian one over here. So I cannot find an Indian one over here so I'm just gonna flash the closest one or the one I know works in my area. So. I'm gonna select the United Arab Emirates because my other S6 Edge is from there and it works just fine so I'm just gonna select that and next and I'm gonna have the Smart Manager International white color next and you can have the Apple or the Samsung's emojis so I'm gonna go with Samsung and I'm gonna choose the S8 camera next and I am going with the Viper for Android because it is one of my favorite apps so I would definitely recommend you installing Viper for Android and I made a video about best sound setup in the Viper for Android and if you want to check that video out link to that video will be right over here please do check it out and you will get some amazing sound out of your headphones so next and I'm gonna select I'm just gonna let it be the Note 5 and next and I'm gonna Select yes, install Magisk and Busybox and next and next and the ROM will install now. So the ROM is done installing now and we're gonna select next over here and we're gonna select finish over here and now we're gonna swipe to unlock back. And now we're gonna select the Note 5 Porter version 2.1 and we're gonna swipe to confirm flash. And we're gonna go back and we're gonna select the NOG33K version 7 and we're gonna swipe to confirm flash. And we're gonna go back and we're gonna flash the matches now. So it will basically root the device and we're gonna swipe to confirm flash. And now we can finally reboot the device. And we have the Samsung logo over here. So it might take 10 to 15 minutes to boot up. So we're gonna just let it boot up. And so guys, the device just booted up. And right now the font is really, really small right now. So we have the setup screen over here. So I'm just gonna quickly set up the device.
so guys the device just booted up and the font and all is so small right now and that can be fixed i guess by going into the developers options so we're just gonna head into it and i'm just gonna go in software information and tap on the build number back and back and we're gonna go in developers options and there's a dpi option over here which you can change so you have the dpi over here so i'm just gonna set it to let's try with 500 first of all and we might have to reduce it down even further let's go with 450 then and as you can see it gets better so let's go down to 400 now so a good frame of reference is this keyboard so it looks much more normal now and let's check out the keyboard and the rom is not that fast right now that i'm seeing let's go out and it is a little bit slow here and there so you have the s8 wallpaper i think it is standard right now in all of the phones that samsung is coming out with so we're gonna go into about device once again and you have the model number as the n35s and it seems like the model number of the note fan edition and we're gonna go in software information and you have the android version 7.0 and uh, samsung experience version 8.1 so the ROM is fully installed now but the VoLT is not working right now and I've already made a video about it the fix it might work on this ROM as well so link to that video will be right over here and please do check it out if you want a working VoLT and if the VoLT is working it will be made aware of in the review and the review video will be out really soon so i think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys